The wandering rocks of Death Valley are, well, exactly what they sound like, I suppose. They're enormous boulders, some of which weigh over 200 kilograms, which mysteriously wander around and migrate across the surface of Death Valley in Eastern California. A phenomenon that has left people, let's say, outwardly perplexed, since as far back as about the 1850s, when people first started venturing into the region, a region characterised by staggering atmospheric temperatures. In fact, Death Valley sits nearly 90 metres below sea level. This region of the northern Mojave Desert has some of the highest recorded temperatures on Earth. You would assume, of course, that giant rocks moving glacially across flat and exceptionally arid terrain would be impossible without people casually giving them a bit of a nudge. Which only really begs more question than it answers, really. Because firstly, how are people nudging exceptionally heavy rocks without leaving any visible trace of their efforts? And I think, perhaps more importantly, why would people be regularly travelling to one of the most inhospitable regions on the globe just to nudge some rocks? Seems like a bizarre hobby, and as far as practical jokes goes, it's just a little bit shit. Worry not, mystery over, it's aliens. At least that's what YouTube would have you believe. It, of course, offers no explanation as to why intelligent life forms capable of interstellar travel would travel light years just to infrequently and quite gingerly nudge a bunch of rocks around a remote area of desert, but try not to think about that too much because it's an easy way of explaining away a very complex natural phenomenon. If you don't understand something, just blame E.T. Perhaps my insufferable and almost seizure-inducing level of sarcasm from the previous paragraph makes it pretty obvious that I don't quite buy the alien theory, which isn't a scathing indictment of the potential of existence of extraterrestrial life. Given the vastness of space, I imagine they probably do exist somewhere in one form or another. I merely assume they have better things to do than nudge huge boulders around deserts like glacial conkers. So, suffice to say, I did some more digging this time not on YouTube. Well, it turns out that some pretty contemporary and quite prolonged scientific studies conducted a few years ago on these indefatigable pieces of igneous has unearthed the truth about why they wander around the flat plains of Death Valley like forlorn desert gypsies. And that is because whilst Death Valley is most famous for its intense heat, it is also seasonally characterised by freezing nighttime temperatures. Temperatures so cold, in fact, that they would freeze the surface of what are actually ancient lake beds beneath the travelling stones. Sheet ice forming around the base of the rocks lifts the rocks clear of the surface of the desert and then cracks as it thaws, detaching it from the rest of the sheet ice, but keeping the stones elevated enough for them to drift in the wind across the desert floor. You heard that correctly. These giant, massive, enormous, thunderous behemoths are being blown around the desert by the wind. This incredible example of natural dynamics causes the travelling stones to leave behind a trail of friction that records their journey across the surface of the desert, a snail trail that can shift abruptly in a right or left angle that outwardly creates the illusion that the stones have been acted upon arbitrarily by something equivalent in size and scale, when in actual fact this is merely where the wind has just changed direction. An example of nature not just blowing my mind, but blowing some rocks. So what do we learn from this? Well, we learn that nature is amazing and that research conducted on YouTube can often leave you less informed than when you started. We also learn that nature can be far more interesting than the stories we often slip into the gaps in our comprehension. Mysteries captivate us exactly because they are mysterious. They are puzzles for us to play with ourselves whilst breeding a healthy curiosity. A curiosity that ultimately compels us to learn more about the world around us. Which is exactly why I started this page. <laughs>